for the benefit of Mitch and Jesse. We, this health pack needs to be instantiated and spawned, right? So, so we don't want it to be sitting there. I'm going to drag this into my prefabs. Cool? It still has the game tag which makes the player lose health. And this one I can delete. But before I delete it, these are the values I need to know for my random range. So can you see my X changing? Can somebody tell me what's the value? Minus 23? Now, plus 23. And I'm just going to move it in Z. Okay, roughly 23. And, um, okay, we'll go plus 23, 23, 23, 23. Okay? So I'm going to delete this one. I've deleted that. So in my script, I'm going to go and add create a new script. I'm going to, I'm going to call it spawn health packs. Sorry, spawn health <laughs> Sorry. Health packs. That's my script. Awesome. I need the instantiate command. I'm just going to take it from somewhere here. I do I do need a variable game object health pack. Cool. And then I need to instantiate. I'm not adding a force to it, so I'm, I don't need to instantiate it. It doesn't even have a particular rotation. So instantiate health pack. And I'm not worried about the rotation, so I'll keep it as a default, which is quaternion dot identity. Now, where do I rotate it? Now, this will be of interest to Ryan. I need to ro rotate it. Uh, rather, when I say instantiate, you will see one of the ways is I can give it a vector 3 position, right? So, I'm just going to say new vector 3 and I need to say an x, y, z position. What was the y value by the way when I, when I dragged my health pack his y value is 1 point I'll make it 5 I'll make it 5. So I don't need it here. Now the x value so the x value is uh, we're going to say random dot range, random dot range, I'll fix up a random number, random dot range, picks up a random number from minus 23, I'll give it F so that it, it will start treating the decimals. If I say, if I give it a round figure like an integer, it might, might pick up only integer. So I want to say pick up even decimals in between. So start from minus 23F to 23F. So that's the x value. You see this? So x comma 1.5 fy comma z. For the z, I'm just going to copy this whole thing and even the z just minus 23f to 23f. Cool? Yeah. I just put a z there to know that I have a z value there. So what am I instantiating? Health pack. And what position I'm giving? I'm not specifying an x position. I'm saying pick up a random value from minus 23 to plus 23. I am specifying a y value and I am specifying a random z value. Let's see if I get one. Let's see if I get one. If I play it, the, okay, okay. Semicolon, I must have missed a semicolon. There you go, semicolon. Thank you. Did I, did I actually end up putting the semicolon? Yeah, I did. Uh, 
I do not think, oh, because I know why that script is not doing anything because I have not attached it to anything. Yeah. And this and this cube, I do not need it. I just, just demonstrating that the sphere can penetrate something. My script, spawn health packs, let me attach it to my script holder or I might as well attach it to my player just so that all my scripts are together. So, if I come to player, spawn health pack, move up. Yep, there you go. So, I got throw, I got spawn health pack and see health pack, the public game object, I have not specified what to spawn. So, drag and drop, drag and drop health pack, drag and drop it here and I am going to play. See, I got a green object and again play. So, it is randomly appearing. Cool? All good? So, how many help packs do we want? 10. Ten. 10, okay. So, I am going to do this 10 times and if I am doing something 10 times, I can use a, if I want to do something repeatedly, oh, loop, loop. So, I am going to do this for i equals 0 as long as i is less than 10. So, it happens for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Correct, correct, correct. Thank you. i plus plus. That is my for loop. Actually, there is something better. I can I can select this line, I can right click it and say surround with, surround this line with a for loop and maximum, how many do we want? 10. So, it works from 0 to 9 or you can say less than or equal to 10 and start with 1, but this is the norm, this is the geek land, geeks like to start at 0. So, this should happen 10 times, okay? And Steve, before you go, you can see, oh, there you are, the 10 and then I can go and pick up. Do I get points? Yep, 20, am I getting points? What? Oh, because, because my player script says 30. My player script actually says 30. I just want to know. Oh, I can make it disappear because you remember something. We we remove the destroy after giving 10, we can destroy it. So, I am unchecking that and my win script will be now. Fifty, where is my win script? If score greater than or equal to fifty. Or I'll just say score win. That's a better way of doing it. Score win and I will keep a value here. I am just going to keep a value here, uh, public score win equals 50. So, if you want to change it, you can change it later. So, score win is now public int, okay, public int. So, now I can change it straight away from here. I come to player. And you can see under the player script, I've got score win. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to make it 30 because I don't want to play this for too long. Oh, we need to do one more thing. So, that's gone. See, it disappears. Uh, the Unity game assets gives you a camera follow script. If you put the camera follow script, you win. If you put the camera follow script, the camera will follow that and sorry does the camera follow script 